How can a landscaper peeing on rose bushes in California affect the 2024 presidential election? How is that possible? Well, I'll tell you at the end of the video. RFK Jr. peeing on Biden's chances of re-election. Here we are, March 6th, Wednesday, 2024, and this is 2024 presidential election analysis. Quite possibly a replay of sorts from the 1992 Ross Perot election. In the 1992 presidential election, Ross Perot got a record amount of votes for an ind independent, almost almost 20 million votes. He It was never done before. Ross Perot did something that nobody had ever done before in modern times. Damn near 19% of the votes. A lot of people will tell you that Ross Perot helped a young Bill Clinton beat the elder George Bush. And if you look at the 1988 election results where read my lips Bush got 48 million votes his first time around he got 48 million votes and then come 1992 read my lips CIA man Bush only got 39 million votes I mean you cannot argue with the numbers from one election to the next, Elder Bush lost almost 10 million votes. Assuredly, had something to do with Ross Perot. Now, here we are 32 years later, and it looks like RFK Jr. will be on the ballots come November 5th. The watchers believe that RFK Jr. will hurt Biden badly. Uh, RFK Jr. was an anti-vaccine person. Hell, how many millions will vote for him just for that? Again, the watchers believe that RFK Jr. will hurt Biden badly, even though, just like read my lips Bush hurt himself back in 89 to 91, Biden has hurt himself in the last three years opening up the floodgates to the damn illegals. Jesus Christ. Here's the numbers. You can look at the charts. These charts are pretty close, showing Donald Trump will probably win with RFK in the election. But tomorrow's not promised for you or I or even Donald Trump. I mean, there's no guarantees we're going to be here tomorrow. But if Donald Trump has a pulse on November 5th, he'll probably be elected unless something major happens. But think about this. RFK Jr. was against the forced experimental vaccines on the unwashed masses. He was anti-vaccine. Amazing that he came out like that. I mean, because he has a Hollywood wife. and um, But imagine how many votes he'll get just for taking that brave stance. But don't get your hopes up for RFK because there's no way he can actually pull off a win unless he says he goes ballistic. And he says, okay, if he starts threatening to round up all the illegals. If, that's, if he starts using the word, we're going to round them up. Those are the key words for the winner. Donald Trump is already experimenting with those words. We're going to round them up. Donald Trump's not going for, full force on that because, you know, he might have to back out of it. But um, because rounding, rounding up millions of people won't be that easy. But imagine if RFK Jr. were to come out strong on steroids. We're going to round them up. Wow. With his anti-vaccine stance, he's going to round them up and send them back. He could actually make this a three-way tie. That would be crazy, wouldn't it? That's actually possible, a three-way tie, but only if RFK Jr. grew a set of balls. Now, I don't think he's going to do that because I think it would make his landscapers angry in California, and I think they would start peeing on his wife's roses. I mean, what do you think? I mean, you got to watch. You know, if the wife gets mad... Watch out.